Hi everyone, today is Sunday the 1st of August. Uh, I hope you're all well. Um, um, I can't believe we're already in August. Um, this year appears to be flying by. The only good thing is that I'm a little bit closer to my next hospital appointment, so here's hoping that um, my cast will come off at my next visit, which would really improve my mobility. Anyway, my video today is a little bit different. I was contacted by a company a few months back called BenQ and they asked me if they could send me one of their uh, reading lamps um, if I could do an honest review on my channel. Now, I do know there's been other stitchers um, have actually carried out the review. So here is my take on this lamp. The first thing I should say is that if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know a big issue for me is good lighting. That's the reason at the moment I'm not stitching on linen because I'm not in my usual stitching spot. And this has been really difficult for me, so that's why I've switched to Ada. So maybe if I do the review, I'll maybe manage to use this lamp um, in my new place. I'm not sure because I don't have a lot of space, but you never know. So um, th this, this lamp was sent to me, it was packaged up in this box, which is a, a kind of easy to carry box. Um, and it was fairly simple to, to set up. But what's quite good, if I just turn this box slightly, you will see it has some pictures of the um, benefits of the lamp. A couple of things I should say to you, first of all, is that it has both uh, a reading light option for, I would say, normal reading newspapers, books, etc, etc. And then it has the ability to change the function to be an E reading. So if you're reading on an electro electronic device, um, which I also think is really good, particularly if you're a stitcher, if you're using Pattern Keeper, um, or you're, you're reading your charts off your um, iPad, like that so that's the first thing that i think is really important but what i'm going to do is i'm going to close the blinds in here and swivel you around just to go through the different aspects of the lamp okay so the the lamp was very easy to assemble it comes with a very heavy base which is really good um i think that's really helpful because um if you're sitting on the floor there's enough extension in both the arms to be able to, to work with it uh, sitting on the floor. It then actually has the two arms plus the extension on the head, which I think is really helpful. So I'm just going to stand up to, to just show you it on and off. Okay, so using the lamps is really easy. If you touch here, you have the, um, the on, and if you touch it again, it's the off. So that's really straightforward, I think. And it also means you're not fumbling for a switch. You also have a dial here. And that's like for dimming. So you can turn it up and down. And that means you're in control of how much or how strong you want your light to be. For sometimes, I think at night, if you're reading, you don't always want it the, the kind of strongest, the harshest light. But maybe if you're like me and you don't have great eyesight, you actually do... Um, you want the, the stronger light. The other thing which is really good is that you have a function. If you hold this bit here for two seconds, you will see just there, there is a red light and you'll see that the tone of the light has changed. And if you hold it again for two seconds, it changes again. And that's switching between the function for reading uh, electronically or reading from the, the kind of normal printed materials. Um, I must admit the the lamp gives out really good light, particularly for, as I say for me, whose stitching requires really good lighting. Um, I can see me moving very shortly to having to always stitch with magnification as well. But um, this great in terms of the depth that it gives you, because sometimes with lights, particularly for stitching, you have very a small head, but this one you have the large kind of curve. And that ultimately gives you a larger kind of area for, for working on. So yeah, overall, I would say that this is a good light. Uh, I will link all the details below. Um, I think um, many of the, the stitchers will, will enjoy having the, the dual function of being able to read 
printed materials or electronically. But yeah, so that's all I've got to add today. Um, I hope you're all well. The weather here in, in Scotland is very nice. Um, so enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye.